Welcome to Code Sci-Fi. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to display multiple posts from a hard-coded list. This is of course is not desirable for our web app. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a form to allow users to add a new post. First, open the app.component.ts file and import ng form. Then we will modify the current app template to add a small form on top. Open the app.component.html to edit. Add a small code snippet that already has two text box, and we can quickly modify them as we need. Currently, there are two text inputs for first and last, but we will change the name to title and content instead. The name attribute here links the text input value to the corresponding variable, such as title and content here, and the name attribute is required when using ng model, so that the control can be registered with the parent form under that name. Since we do not want to have a post without title or content, we can add an attribute called required to force the user to enter both of the title and content before they can submit. Once the user enters all of the information, they should be able to submit and see the changes. Open app.component.ts and add a small function called on submit with the parameter f, meaning form. This object has a property value that contains the local template variables that we have declared in the form, title and content. Now we just need to extract those new information and create a new post from the provided title and content and add the newly created post into the list of posts. Let's try it. We have a good start. Let's make the form clearer by adding the labels before the inputs. Also, clear all the hard-coded posts in the list. That looks much cleaner. We will also make the submit button blue by using the bootstrap style primary. The form still needs some padding so let's add a class add form into the container of the form and add some margin around the form. To make the style more consistent, we need to style the text inputs too. Let's add the bootstraps class form control and you can see that it looks much better. Also the text inputs are too long as the entire container is spanning the entire page. We will limit the width of the entire form to only 300 pixels by using CSS. I still don't like the inputs that are too close to the button and labels here, so I'll add some space in the CSS too. Using the selector.addForm input, we can apply the style to only the text inputs of the container that has the class named addForm. The form looks much better now. If a user sees this form, they may be confused of what the form will do. Let's add some header and instruction to clarify it. I'll also style the header using display1 from bootstrap. This is looking good. Let's test the form. You can see your new post has been added once we click on the submit button. One last thing, we can easily let users remove a specific post if they don't like a post. Let's set a button named remove into each card of a post. I'll add some test post here so we can see the remove button. We will also add a click handler for the remove button, so that whenever the user clicks on the remove button, the method is called inside the post.component.ts. Remember that the post component is a child component of the app component. This means that the click event won't be heard by the app component to remove that specific post from the list of posts in the app component. We need to notify the app component whenever a remove button is clicked within a post. In a previous tutorial, we have learned about at output and emitting an event from a child component to its parent component. Let's set a property name change and decorate it with at output inside the post.component.ts. When a button is clicked, it will emit itself which is the post instance. You also need to wire it up with the app template. 
openapp.component.ts and add a change handler that will call the method on remove post that will be called when the remove button is clicked and the post emits itself. Define that method inside the app.component.ts to remove an object in an array. You need to search for it. We will find the first index of the instance in the list and use splice method to remove only one object starting at that particular index. Since it's a remove button, I'll make it red to warn the user of the dangerous action. I'll also move it up to the upper right corner of the card here. Let's try the new functionality of our form. Add some new posts here. Then remove one of them. It works well. Now we have made a small web app similar to some social network like Reddit or Facebook. We will learn more about form validation next time. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.